Welcome back to our PyQt beginner series. Today we'll take a look at what signals and slots are in PyQt5 and how we can use them in our application. I will again duplicate the code from the layouts, what we did there, uh, because we used that layout, that's in the window we have already created to explain what signals and slots are. Just that this time around, I'll delete a lot of things here to make it very, very simple. We need only one entry and we need only one button also. So if I've not watched this video, the, the video where we wrote all this code, I'll advise that you watch it. The link is in the description below to all the series uh, which you find and get access to all the videos in this series. So let me run our code now see what you what you've got a single button a single line edit and let me change the title also to signals and slots there's also one thing that i did not mention uh, we can set the style of the application i don't really like this flat style the one style that i mostly use app.set style uh, it's called fusion I mostly use it and you see me using it is almost all the applications that we build here uh, that one just gives some um, rounding to the buttons and make it a little nicer and edit also but if you like the previous one too of course you can go ahead with that one mm. so the signals what are signals and slots we signals uh, let's let me explain it this way any uh, widgets can send signals and they can also receive signals or they have slots that receive signals so we can send a signal from a particular widget to a particular widget and that widget that will receive the signals will have a slot that can receive the signal and perform some function based on what we tell it to do when it receives that type of signal i know i've said a lot so let's just demonstrate it in code you get to know that it's very very simple uh, all the things i've said is very very simple so we have of course one line edit which is the entry like the password field and we have the button also now this signal will come from our line edit to our button so we will send a signal saying that if the test in the line edit is changed then the button should change this test that is the the test that we see on the button should change with or uh, to be the same as the test that is currently inside the line edit so what we do is mostly at the button here so that all the all the things we load before it gets to that one python runs from top to button here i can see mostly call it connection so where we connect signals to slots uh, i misspelled the word connections python can correct that for me and this is how we declare the signal before then, I should have declared this once with respect to the window, so self.entry1. Because if I don't declare it with respect to the window or make it known to the window, like children of the window, I can't call it here like self. When I say self.btn1, um, it doesn't even show, it will not even come on. I run it, I'll get an error. So what I have to do is that I first declare them as. widgets of the window object so self.btn1 and then self.entry1 yes in this case i can now assess them and then assign signals to them so self.btn1 no not the btn1 we want to take the signal from the entry so self.entry1 dot text change so we want to if the text is changed we want to send the signal so what you say dot connect so when the test is changed connect this thing so send the signal so create this connection between them and what we want to do when we receive the text that has been changed signal is to update the but the button test so self dot not self self dot btm1 dot set text And then here we, we just delete this side and then issue it. Uh, why is this one? 
Okay, okay, it should be self dot entry one here. Yeah. Don't forget to change those parts also. I think we should do it for the button also. Yes, we should. So now we've told you that if, of course, it is changed, you should do something. So let me comment it first and then let's run our code and see. You see that when we change the button, that, that we type something here, it will never reflect anywhere. But if we uncomment this line, run our code again, see that look at something that will happen. If I type hello, the test on the button will also change to the test that is inside the line edit. When I delete everything, everything goes off. So the signal is coming from the line edit here, and it is being used to update the button text. Interesting, right? So just brought uh, some small and funny and uh, what, uh, whatever, I've forgotten what to say. I don't even know what to say, but it's an interesting application that can just change the test. So either I am dynamically. Hey, dynamically changing the button text. Oh, you don't have so much space to type it, but you get the idea. I know you do. This is signals and slots in PyQt5 or PyQt. Of course, this example is also simple because we are taking it from um, baby steps. So one at a time, little by little. And when we get to where we build the interesting applications, you see how signals and slots come into play to make our application very dynamic and powerful. That will be all for this video. And I'll see you another time with another video. Thank you.